icon right below the alert flag is to manage customer associations. So this um, blue and green uh, icon represents people and there is a drop down menu to add an association. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add in. We can add from our existing customers, which will display here, those individuals with the same last name. Well, the co-customer does not have to have uh, the same last name. So, for instance, if the last name of that person is Armstrong, and then you can search, it may be one of these individual, again, that exists in our current database. If not, if they are a new person, then we would click on new and then add in their name. And let's go ahead and say that um, Mr. Brown's wife is Susan. And then we can just do a quick entry and save it that way. Or if you would like to do more information, you can click on the pencil icon where we can now add more details. Again, at the top, you've got legal, personal, company, and all of the rest of the fields are the same. I'm not going to go over those again, but I do want to point out the green square with the white arrow. So if Susan's phone number is the same as Robert, her husband, you can click on that green box with the white arrow and it'll automatically fill in the phone number that you put for Robert. And she might have a different cell phone number so you can just manually type in whatever is necessary again nothing is bolded on this form so you can add in as much or as little details as you would like same thing with the home address you have this green box with the white arrow when you click on it it's automatically going to bring over the same address that you put in for Robert the initial customer and then if I were to go over to the shipping address we did use that same address for Robert so it's automatically showing for Susan I'm gonna go ahead and jump and click OK here we now see Susan her home and her mobile number I'm gonna click Save and close this window and now I'm back on Robert, my initial customer that I entered. Now let's take just another look at that icon. Now I can click on the down drop menu. I can view and edit Susan. Yes, you want to save it and make any changes as necessary. You can also click there and remove her if you ever needed to. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And at this time, please notice in the upper right hand corner, there's some information that's automatically populated for us. We have the customer's time zone. So we are showing that the customer is in central time zone, today's date and time. The last activity when I made an entry and saved it, the date and time. And then the first scene, when I come out of this particular customer window, the first scene will automatically update with today's date. That is the day that you entered the customer. So if I go back into this same customer tomorrow, the first scene date will always be the date when you initially entered the customer into Everlogic. So I would see today's date if I were to go in tomorrow to look at this customer record.